right so spinner is like a drop down menu right so you can see that over here where do you work and one drop down menu kind of view is there so it list out all the items it list out all the items okay so this is like a drop down menu that has a set of values from which a user can choose one okay so again from the selection you have to choose any of the item okay so let's jump onto the application how you can create the spinner spinner is very useful right in your application development so let me open the application spin demo okay so uh, what i want to do i want to create one elective subject list and from that elective subject list i want to choose any of the subject right so let me first of all execute the code so you can get the idea what we want to perform so our application is like this here when i click on that so you can see that you have experienced this many a times in applications right so here one message will be that select an elective subject and here is the list of subject if the list of subject is goes on then this particular will be auto scrolled right so suppose if i copy paste uh, the number of items increase the number of items and if i rerun this okay you can see that now the scroll bar is there automatically the scroll bar will be there so this will be the features of this particular spinner so anything you can select and that will be selected in the particular list after that you can do anything if you want to uh, display one toast message then you can also display the toast message that you have selected a machine learning that kind of message you can print okay so that we see now uh, how you can achieve this first of all so let's understand the design part first of all okay design is very simple you just need to take one uh, let me okay you just need to take one spinner so in search you can just type a spinner and you can drag and drop the spinner over here okay and you can uh, the spinner is very simple see it's like this but i have made custom changes over here let me show you how you can make these kind of custom changes so first of all i need to remove this spinner okay now how you can make, make this custom spinner how you can get this purple color border actually it is a shape right so how you can create a shape in android any shape and you can set as a background this is very useful guys right so let's see how you can do that you just need to go to the drawable folder and you just need to create one drawable resource file and here i just need to write background background right so i have already created a background over here spinner underscore background so once you click okay right let me click okay so one background xml file will be there so now here what you need to do you just need to change this to save right and once you change it to the save there are some properties some attributes we have and based on this you can create a save right so i'm not going to waste time over here so let's jump on to that particular save directly what i have created okay now so here after creating after changing our selector to save first of all we need to take a stroke stroke is for 
the color right so here you can see we have selected this color and the width of that particular border is a uh, 2 dp right i want to make that particular shape c like this so you can see that little bit rounded corner over here you can see that i'll add all the four sides little bit rounded corners are there so how you can do that with the use of radius attribute 5 dp and i want to fill this with the solid color white i don't want to you can choose red blue green gradient whatever you want the color you can choose of the background but i want to keep it as a white so i have choose my color with the solid attribute as this white so this one shape i have created now this shape you can apply anywhere as a background right so we have this particular spinner underscore background dot xml file so now i want to apply this to the my spinner so i need to go to the spinner okay and here you need to choose a background property see this and from where i am taking from the drawable this is our drawable in that drawable which shape i need to change spinner underscore background spinner underscore background so once you write this then automatically your shape will be attached to this particular spinner and it will create this beautiful design so this kind of stuff you can apply to anything you can text you can apply this to text view you can apply this to the button any any view you can apply with this kind of custom designs okay now the next thing is you you have observed over here then there is a one message is listed out over here select an elective subject right so um, there is this example let me read let me give the other one okay and when i click you can see this is a bold i have not put this as a bold and or this auto generated so select an elective subject you can see you can see this you, i think i hope you can experience the difference right so how you can create that kind of stuff so only one single line you need to write that is a prompt line prompt attribute you have to use and you have to just write this particular subject list i have made this uh, thing in this string attribute right so it is not necessary you can also directly write that but this is a good practice that whatever string you are using that will be put out in this particular strings dot xml file so once you want to make changes to everywhere then you can make changes to everywhere and here is the subject list right so this way you can create the prompt message this way you can create the prompt message right so now our application is design is ready now let's jump on to the particular coding portion coding portion is also very easy right first of all i need to have a source so in this application i took a different source instead of string i took a list right so list is a collection so list collection type of string i have to right and i took array list okay after that with the use of add method i can add any number of items into the list okay and after that i need to initialize the particular array adapter again we are using adapter class over here so you can see that array adapter array adapter and in these two uh, three parameters you need to pass context layout and the source object here we are using list so in our last application we have used month string array and in this application we have used list as a collection now 
you need to set this drop down view resource so here one method is there set drop down view resource that is attached with this particular spinner so now we are binding that with the array adapter and we are passing which type so here again you can choose number of items over here i have used simple spinner drop down item if you want then you can choose any number of items you have let's suppose say for if i put dot so simple drop down item one line expandable okay so this kind of stuff is there so you can select any i'm just going with this right now okay so now my drop down is bind with the array adapter and i just need to set the adapter okay after that now this binding is over binding of data with the view is over now what i want to perform i want to perform that whenever i select that item so i just need to get that item in my list so simple thing you can do over here set on item selected listener this method you have to remember so here you just need to remember the methods and parameters right and then you can just pass the adapter view as an argument so these two methods are automatically will be created override on item selected and override on nothing selected so on nothing selected we are not performing anything right and whenever i select so i need to set that selection in my spinner so spinner dot set selection position spinner dot set selection position so that item is going to be selected okay now uh, let's make some custom changes over here i'm trying to make these changes suppose whenever i am executing this application you can see over here the python program is returning right and when i select any item then just image processing is will be there this much is enough but if you want to make any custom changes like i want to display the toast message over here so whatever item i am selecting then for that what you need to do so first of all uh, let me write let me add first of all let me clear that with the blank item okay so now whatever default python will be there it will be replaced with that blank space and now if i write if okay then if condition parent dot get item at position and into that i need to pass the position dot to string dot equals blank right then i just need to select this and put this okay else what i want i want one toast message toast then you can see over here that parent dot get i need to pass the context then here you need to write you have selected selected and after that i want to write one for item i want i want the name of that item so again i need to write parent dot get item at position which position so i need to pass it dot to string and then just so message okay so what i did over here so whenever i am executing this application okay so that particular application so here by default python program is there i don't want that i want blank 
so that's why i put list dot add is equals to blank so now let's let me execute this so you can see that instead of python programming there will be a blank spinner and now what i want to do i when i select any language suppose a machine learning so you have selected machine learning right then computer vision then you have selected a computer vision so this kind of customization also you can do this kind of customization also you can do with the spinner i hope this particular application is understandable right it is very easy guys okay so you can make this kind of stuff that are very really useful into your projects okay is there any doubt up to this guys